Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'm here with Lassia, a first year student in Wigglesworth. Lassia's going to tell us a little bit about her project. Lassia, what's your project called? Um, it's about combinatorial game theory. <laughs> it's about combinatorial game theory, and um, it's just an implementation of a combinatorial game with a little bit of information about the theory behind combinatorial games. Very cool. And is it possible that we can see some sort of live demo or just sure. demonstration? Of course. So, um, so like the website first like walks a user through like what a combinatorial game is, just gives a little bit of information and motivation behind the theory, um, because it's just really a, a field of math dedicated to a specific type of game, and then. Hackenbush is a game invented by John Horton Conway, and um, every time the page is reloaded, it generates a new Hackenbush board. Um, and the way that it works is like there's a left and a right player, and left plays the blue sticks, right plays the red sticks, and each move, the pl the player has to remove one of their own sticks, and the first player to run out of sticks loses. Um, so just like for an example, like the winning strategy for this board, well, it looks complicated since le if left goes first, they just want to remove this bottom stick, because then. Then the red player doesn't have any sticks left, and then they win. Um, now to reload the page. Ooh. Okay, so now here, um, like the left, if left player starts again, the right player might remove one of these sticks, and then um, and so on. Fantastic, yeah. So looks very cool. Yeah. So. Um, so, so like, with the way that the game works, like you can set, you can define like a set theoretic way to notate games, and from there you can construct a whole class of of, of numbers using finite red and blue hack and bush sticks that um, can give can, that give rise to like a lot of really interesting things in combinatorial game theory, where like the entire class of com of um, combinatorial games made from red and blue hack and bush sticks um, actually make a universal ordered field. So <laughs> very cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to my head around this, but it sounds very <laughs> awesome, Lassie. Thank you so much. Yeah. And lastly, can you tell us like what inspired you to make this project? So I was learning about combinatorial game theory earlier in the semester for a direct reading program, and I was playing the game just for just for fun because I also wanted to build some intuition around the theory so that I could like better analyze the games. And I was having trouble finding like implementations online of games, so I was like, oh, I should make my own for CS50. Um, and Hackenbush is one of the first combinatorial games people learn when they're trying to learn the theory. Um, so it was the one that I chose to make. And then um, later, I think after the project, I, wa I want to also work on implementations of Nim and Chomp, which are two other combinatorial games that, when analyzed, give rise to something called Nimbers. Oh, very <laughs> cool. Fantastic. Lassie, thank you so much for showing us your project. I'm Thomas, and this is CS50.